First question is from the Free Range Chicken. How would you compare calisthenics to weight training for building muscle, improving health, and general wellness? Well, okay, so first off, you want to understand that the umbrella of resistance training covers calisthenics as well as weights or bands or machines. It's a style of training in which you're using resistance with the sole goal of building strength and building muscle. Okay, so when we compare calisthenics to weight training, they do look different. However, you can manipulate your body with calisthenics to, prov to, to create some pretty high-tension, heavy-style exercises, especially when you use a tool like a suspension trainer. When you have a suspension trainer, you now have uh, a whole bunch of different exercises that open up to you, and all of them are muscle building. Now, some of the best muscle building exercises are uh, ones with barbells. But there's also some body weight by, uh, muscle building exercises that are up there with some of the best ones. I mean, a pull up, for example, is a body weight exercise, and that could be considered calisthenics, and that's a, extremely valuable. A dip. A dip yeah. is another, a handstand, handstand push up, up yeah. for example, is another phenomenal so exercise. It's a it's, tough one. It's all resistance training. And if you're, unless you're a specific type of athlete or your goals are very, very, very specific, like, you're a bodybuilder, you compete in bodybuilding, or you're a power lifter, or you're a kettlebell you know, uh, expert or whatever, your best bet is to use a mix of different forms of resistance training. And that, what that will do is that'll develop a very balanced, uh, aesthetic looking physique for most people. So I love bodyweight exercises in combination yeah. with, with weights. Uh, yeah. and suspension trainers are your best bet with that. I think, way. yeah, if you, if you think suspension trainers and then trying to find you know more ways to progress through that, if you look at, there was a, a big trend for this for a while with like those bar athletes and oh, yeah. uh, you know the calisthenic kings and, and people like that that were really kind of showing a whole new wave of, of intensity with, you know, that they were adding to these uh, body weight type exercises and using the bar for all kinds of different moves and things. Uh, so it's there is a valid way to to really progress just by using your own body weight. However, I think uh, a lot of people are more familiar with you know weights uh, uh, and how to program that. This is kind of another thing that's a little bit more uh, 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 niche and unique. I mean, if you're a coach, okay, if you're a good coach, um, this belongs in every routine. Whether you uh, intermittently have uh, body weight exercises built into their weight training routine, or you actually have phases where you go through, where you make your client, you know, spend two, three, four weeks of just doing body weight exercises, no matter how you, you drum it up, it belongs as a good coach, it belongs somewhere in almost everybody's routine, unless you have a very specific goal, like Sal said. And by specific, it's like sport specific, because even if you have a specific goal, like I want to lose 30 pounds or I want to build 10 pounds of muscle, those belong in there just mm -hmm. for overall health and longevity. So if you're a coach, this has got to be something you, you intermittently put into the routine or make sure you always keep somewhat these body weight exercises. If you're a consumer or a listener and you're and you build your own routine, uh, it's important that you do these. It's important that you incorporate them. There's too much benefit uh, in training body weight type of training calisthenics to not do them at all whatsoever, even if you think that your main goal is to build muscle and that that's not the fastest way potentially to build muscle. Um, if it's something you never do, it absolutely is. It's just like the novelty that we talk about, the importance of that uh, for the body to adapt and keep changing. If you're always using the same machines or always doing the same exercises and training in the, the same modality and you never utilize some of these tools like this, like a suspension trainer or doing a calisthenic type of phase, you're really missing out on a lot of benefits. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you if you work out primarily with weights and let's say you did, let's say you signed up for MAP suspension. So you, now MAP suspension is all suspension training. You can expect to gain some muscle. You should expect to gain a little bit of muscle mobility and different a different type of strength because yeah. it's a different type of resistance training. So uh, they're all all when you look at that whole umbrella again of resistance training, if we you know each one has its strengths and its weaknesses. But I think the point that we're making that's real important is don't limit yourself to one. Utilize all of them, and again, you'll develop a very balanced aesthetic functional physique from doing that.